This is my initial review of the Hasix Medoraser. Welcome back all in a new video. Today we're gonna to talk about the A6 Meta Razor. For to give you my first impression, I tried to shoot into different session, interval training and uh, a slow run. It's a carbon plated uh, uh, razor and you can find here some uh, key specs. Uh, what a privilege it is to run uh, with this shoe. A6 has created something uh, very special in my opinion and very fast. As you can see with a low profile, a small stack height and uh, with a perfect drop from my point of view. I mean, not always we need uh, lots of cushioning and a huge stack height. I understand for the marathon, but uh, I still like to control the shoes and uh, not the other way around. That's why I like shoes with a small stockade like the A6 Meteorator. During the warm-up I immediately felt the shoe very comfortable in terms of uh, hopper and also in terms of cushioning, uh, even though they low stockade. But definitely the shoe is not designed for uh, running slow, rather for running fast, uh, a slow speed. Well, don't wear this shoe. A6 for sure did not intend for runners to wear this shoe uh, at slow, uh, easy paces. The Meta Razor doesn't look like the Bubble Fly or Alpha Fly, or even really like many other shoes. It's uh, flatter, more traditionally profiled, and uh, slightly more aggressive in looking, especially in the beautiful red uh, Tokyo colorway. Uh, but it's comfortable. But how does it perform? Let's start from the upper, and we will see in the end how it performs. But before to talk about the upper, please remember to um, leave a thumbs up in case you like the video and to consider to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the uh, new video on weekly basis. If you are interested also on my trainings, consider to follow me on Strava. I'm regularly posting all my trainings in. Uh, you can find the link uh, here in the description below. The Happer is a single layer, highly breathable uh, engineered mesh with a, a special emphasis in design on airflow. 
it's really well made uh, and I'm not surprised considering that Tasix was creating state of art marathon races way back in the 1960s. It even includes a front air circulation port as seen in the 1960 Magic Runner, uh, which was created by the ASICS uh, founder. The, their research uh, shows lowering uh, food temperature as a positive influence on reducing uh, uh, heart rate uh, from 1 to 3 uh, beats per minute. In both trainings I had, I never felt as uh, uh, if my feet were hot or wet or anything. It's a classy happening in my opinion. I see it really uh, elegant, simple and uh, functional. True to sides with relatively but not super thin or medium socks. Narrower but extremely comfortable uh, toe area uh, due to the material as there are no overlays and uh, the diagonal ventilation slots have uh, some give. Uh, this color really pops and uh, it is indeed uh, as orange as uh, it looks uh, in the video. In general I'm really impressed how well uh, it um, wraps my feet and how securely it holds them. The tongue is thin and uh, a bit too short and uh, has to be positioned well after wearing the shoe because it is easy that it takes uh, a bad position and you will feel it uh, uh, all along the, the training. Laces are traditional and flat uh, so they ensure a great lockdown. The midsole includes a front to mid foot carbon plate uh, below the same type of uh, cellulose uh, nanofiber infused uh, flight foam uh, midsole as the Nimbus Lite uh, for bouncy uh, lightness and durability uh, with no plate at the heel uh, for a softer landing. The carbon plate is not sandwiched in the midsole but rather under the uh, wall midsole. It uh, incorporates ASICS guide sole technology to reduce uh, ankle flexion and lower leg motion. The heel landing is uh, very dynamic for such uh, a low heel stack of 24mm. The total heel transition is uh, really smooth uh, thanks to the curve profile uh, which I really love. And the squish down needed uh, to activate the plates uh, in some competing uh, shoes uh, isn't a factor in the metal razor uh, so I found the activation and response from the plate uh, faster. There is clearly less bounce uh, uh, at a slower pace up front if you download the midsole and the plate. The midsole is not bouncy, bouncy or springy in feel, but uh, uh, there is a distinct bounce uh, within the sandwich, especially when compared to more um, conventional uh, flats. The density of the midsole foam is uh, uh, proper in that you feel uh, you can push down into the, the plate. The rubber is the ASIC grip. Outdoors, I didn't notice any lack of traction, uh, but this isn't the first shoe I would look for uh, on a rainy or icy day. Uh, durability wise, uh, this is not the first time uh, ASICS has gone with uh, essential household rubber coverage. Then for sure durability is higher uh, than other razor carbon plated that I've tested. The main reason for extending the rubber so far back was mainly because of the positioning of the carbon plate and it was easier to just uh, cover up the plate with a rubber uh, than to try and cover it uh, with anything else or uh, leave it exposed uh, over the midsole foam. In conclusion, the Meta Razor is uh, a responsibly right razor uh, with a low stack height and uh, definitely some uh, ground feel. Especially when running fast, you never lose the propulsive uh, sensation provided by the carbon fiber blade. A fast smooth uh, razor with uh, more than adequate cushion for an half marathon for me. Uh, not sure for uh, a marathon in my case. At speed, there is very little sense of uh, a plate harshness, uh, but more so when uh, running slowly. The ride get bouncier and more fluid uh, the faster you go. Exceptional cushion in my opinion on the heel, uh, shocking really for only 24mm uh, of stock with a very decent but not super wide stability, but it's not a deal breaker. The overall balance of the weight in this shoe is really good. This is a pure razor, uh, there will be no easy running uh, for this shoe. Uh, it's a seat uh, in providing a fast, efficient and uh, comfortable ride when you push the pace. I found that the faster the pace, uh, the better the shoe feel. Um, it wants to run uh, fast and uh, I love it. That's it for today for my initial review. Uh, hope you like it and as usual, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Ciao!